Here we go again. So the good news is this is very similar to the last one where we found one tenth more or less. We're just finding one hundredth more or less. And then I'm even going to throw in a few at the end, one thousandth more or less. But it's very similar. You just got to make sure you're looking at the correct place. So the problem we can think about, uh, Guy finds the masses of three apples on a scale. The mass of the first apple is shown. The mass of the second apple is one hundredth kilogram less than that of the first apple. The mass of the third apple is one hundredth kilogram more than that of the first apple. So again, we're just comparing these different amounts. So we can see this first apple is one tenth of a kilogram, so we need to find one hundredth more and one hundredth less than that. Now, this is a little tricky because you might think there's nothing in the hundredths place. How can I find one hundredth more or one hundredth less than that? Well, one way we can do it, just like before, we can use a number line. So go ahead, write that on your notes. We can use a number line. So how could I find it? Well, you can see one on your chart or on your paper. See if you can mark where one tenth is. All right, pretty clearly it is right here. Now the one thing I want to remind you, one tenth is equal to ten hundredths. If you think about one of those flat pieces, I could split it up. It's still 10 of the bars, still the same amount, just a different name. So I could say it's that. And suddenly it's much easier to find one hundredth more and one hundredth less than 10 hundredths, right? Look, they showed us where it is, we found it. So then how can I go one hundredth less than 10 hundredths? Well, if I have 10 hundredths, 1 hundredth less than that is just going that way on the number line to 9 hundredths. Suddenly, though, if you just look at this, it might be hard to see, but if I add that zero, oh, 1 less than 10 is not. That's the main thing is just to add those zeros if you need them. We can picture it here as well. Count down to 9 hundredths. If we want to say one hundredth more than ten hundredths, guess what? We go the opposite direction, bigger on our number line to eleven hundredths. Count up to eleven hundredths. And again, our number line is counting by hundredths, so that way, way we don't have to skip any numbers. Another way to do it, just like before, we can think in terms of place value. You can write them in a chart. You can just write them on top of each other. And then we're just changing the hundredths place. Or for the examples I'm going to give you, we'll just change the thousandths place. But for these, we don't change the tenths place. That stays the same, sort of. Um, we just think about the hundredths. And you're like, well, what's one less than zero? Well, then it does actually help to think of the whole number and think like, okay, this is 10, what's one less than 10, nine? Or I can think I have to borrow from this and that's how I get the one, right? Because I could borrow and say, ah, instead of 10 hundredths or one tenth and zero hundredths, I have 10 hundredths. Take away one is nine, add one is 11. If that's confusing, make sure you ask. We're just thinking about our different places. All right, so we found one tenth more, one tenth less. We can use place value or a number line, whichever makes more sense to you. Let's do some examples, trying to keep it moving. All right, what's one tenth more and one tenth less than four and two hundredths? Go ahead and choose. All right, hopefully you got that one tenth less. I'm just taking, I have two hundredths. Just taking one away, going to one hundredth, and then I'm just adding on one more to go to three hundredths. Because again, I can think of them as a group. In this case, it doesn't really matter because they're the same either way. 
If I wanted to visualize it on that number line, I could and say, okay, if I'm just counting by hundreds here, zero to five, two would be here, go down one and up. So different ways to think about it. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. What number is one tenth more and one tenth less than 84 hundredths? Go ahead and choose. All right, hope you got it. So again, I can either just look at this four and just think, okay, I need to change the four to a three to get 83 hundredths, then change it up to a five. Or I can say, okay, I have 84, one less than 84, that's 83. One more than that is 85. So whichever way helps to think about it. Ooh, actually, no, I don't want to skip number three because if I look and I say one tenth more and one tenth less than three and 49 hundredths. Well, if you hopefully did not choose three one zero because that, again, would not be a bigger number. Because it's tempting to think, okay, that 9 turns into 10, and then I just put a 10 on the end. But I have to think about the fact that if I'm adding on a 1, oops, here, when I add that 9 and that 1, that's going to be 10, but it carries over to the next spot. Okay, so then it's going to be 3 and 5 tenths. Or just think of it as 49 one more than that is 50 and one less than that is 48. so that's one good way if you're like oh it's nine how do i get bigger and not put the 10 in the wrong spot just look at the look at it as a sort of a group and then it's easier to do one more and one less all right if it doesn't have a hundredth place remember well, I should say, go ahead and choose. Sometimes I get excited. All right. If it doesn't, just add that zero and suddenly you're like, oh, 20. 19 is less. 21 is more. Okay, the 21 is easier. Like, you can just add the one on the end. But if you didn't have that, you might be like, how do I take one away from something that's not there? Put something there. 20 is the same, 20 hundredths is the same as two tenths. Okay, now I actually want to do what is one, why are you not working? Give me just a second. Okay, well, never mind. I won't use that then. I'll just go here and I'll just write it on the side and you can just, okay, sorry about that. All right, new thing, just so that there's more blank space. So if I said, what is one ten or one thousandth more and less, or, or less, more and less than three and eight tenths? All right, did you get it? You might have been like, how in the world? There's, there's no thousandths. But remember, if I add zeros, it's just eight hundred thousandths. Eight tenths, eighty hundredths, eight hundred thousandths, all equivalent, just depending how many little pieces I split into. So then I just can say, oh, well, less is three and seven hundred ninety-nine. I'm just taking away a thousandth. Adding on more, I just get three and eight hundred one thousandths. All right, again, I want one thousandth more or one thousandth less than eight and nine hundred five thousandths. This one's a little more straightforward. I'm just adding on one to there, so I can just say 906 for more. Oh, I did it out of order, 904 is less. All right, one more. One, oops, probably shouldn't change it to an eraser. Thousandth more and one thousandth less than four and fifty-one hundredths. All right, hope you got it. 
Hope you remember to add that zero and then say, oh, that's easy. Four and 509 is one less than 510. And 511 is one thousandth more. That's confusing. Let me know and then give your worksheet a try. Good luck.